Aaron, let's have the wallet. You all right, Mrs. Ryan? Yes, I'm fine. Let him have the purse. I, I couldn't meddle that. See, that's very smart. Hand over the wallet. You'll be just fine, too. You don't want to hurt anybody, okay? No, we don't want that. So drop the bag, turn around, and put your hands over your head. Oh. Come on, tell your friends to do the same. Oh, some I, friends. I, 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 I've never done this before. Oh, oh, of course you haven't. Now, one hand behind your back, kid. Well, think yeah. about your line of work, Mr. Pierce. Certainly prepares you for emergencies. Not the other hand. That's right. I, I've never done this before. All right, all right. Now, don't move, friend. I think we'll take this boy down to the local There's precinct. There's usually a patrol car around the corner in front of the main entrance to the hospital. Good. Will you be joining me, or will you be going on to church I'd like now? to see this one through, if you don't mind. I'll go along with you. Glad to have your company. Come along, my friend. I've never done this before. <laughs> Is there anything you want to tell me, Miss Coleridge? Sheriff Cooper, is it? Yes, ma'am. Well, you've advised me of my rights, but I think you should know that I'm an attorney. I understand my situation perfectly. But I have no statement to make at this time. I would like to waive extradition and return to New York as soon as possible. Okay, I'll call New York right now and advise them that we have you in custody and ask how they wish to proceed. Thank you. But may I offer just a word of advice? Certainly. If you'd give us a statement now, so you're on record right from the beginning, it'd make things look a lot better. You have to know that. Indicted for murder, arrested out of the state, traveling under an assumed name, heading for the Canadian border? That's heavy trouble, Miss Coleridge. If I were you, I'd sure want to set the record straight. I have nothing to say. Please, sweets. I'm adding up votes from our survey. It seems people prefer me, the weed side, by one. Yes. You paid for a single? Yes. So who's in there with you? No one. Who is it? So how come I hear voices? That's just my other side. Yeah, well, my other side wants to get paid for your other side. You got a frosted side? You're looking at it. Nice people skills, sweets. I'll leave them a mint. Hi, Billy Mays here for OxyClean the stain specialist. Activate the stain removing power by adding warm water. Use OxyClean in a solution to take out spots and stains. It even takes grape juice out of your favorite cotton shirt. Chlorine bleach can damage your clothes. With just one splash, you can ruin a pair of jeans. OxyClean is odor free and safe on your colored fabrics. OxyClean, the stain specialist. Use OxyClean on carpeting. It eliminates red wine, pet stains, and neutralizes odors. Iodine, coffee, red wine, on the clothes and in the water. Add OxyClean. It removes the stains without the damaging effects of chlorine. Call now and you'll get a whopping four pound bucket of OxyClean. The squirt bottle and the super chamois, not $20, only $9.99. Here's how to order. Call to order the four pound bucket of OxyClean for only $9.99. You'll also get the squirt bottle and super chamois with your order. Call 1-800-850-8833. Call now. I wanted to know when I was ovulating, so my doctor recommended Donna, a new ovulation predictor. Said it was simple to use and 98% accurate. With Donna, you examine your saliva to determine your exact time of ovulation. And Donna is reusable for up to one year. No more messy tests, no more complicated temperature charts. Now I know exactly when I'm ovulating. No more guesswork for us. Order your Donna saliva fertility tester now. Donna, know when the moment is right. Weekdays at 4, watch poor Charles. Will Allison survive heartbreak? Please, let me go get you some help. Oh. <laughs> Will Livy pay for her sin? I never will stop you. You make me sick. Will Ian destroy the Avatar? I'm right here. Come and face me. Poor Charles Tour. Weekdays at 4, only on Silknet.
Okay, I got New York, and here's the plan. They'll have a detective up here at 8 a.m. It's his job to get you back home by tomorrow afternoon. They're going for a 2 o'clock arraignment in the Supreme Court of the state of New York. To set bail. That's it. Want some coffee? Yes, please, Black. Edward, get some for both of us. Our accommodations aren't exactly palatial, but we can make you comfortable for the night. And Mrs. Cooper does breakfast in the morning. Thank you. Sheriff, may I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. How did you find me? Well, Elmina Wallace. The motel owner recognized your picture in the paper. My picture? Your big news, Miss Coleridge. Do you have any details of the indictment? Only what I read in the papers. Hi, it's in the other room. I'll get it and find it for you uh, in just a minute. But apparently Mr. Jones died of an OD of heroin that somebody had brought into the hospital. And you were found at his bedside with a syringe in your hand. I guess he was real sick. Yes, he was. He seemed like a nice man. I never met him. I saw him on television two or three times. And once on a talk show, I heard him telling stories about his father and sang a song he had written about him. It was good. I liked it. You liked him? Yes. And if you listen to radio, of course, and I do all day long, you hear him two, three times a day. Wouldn't it make you feel better to talk some about it? No. Because I'd like to help if I can. Sheriff, you're not going to get a statement out of me. That's a mistake, but it's certainly your right. However, I would like to use the phone to call New York. Be my guest. You there? Yeah. It just feels so close and so safe. I don't want to go to sleep and miss any of it. Besides that, you're thinking. How can you tell? I can feel it. Electrical impulses. There's a sunstorm going on in there. But I'm afraid to say any of it. You're thinking about Jill? Yeah. Go on and say it. I want to hear it all. Well, I began by thinking that Jill's much more safe within herself, much more self-assured than I am. But even so, this, with you, it's so wonderful that how could she not want it? How could she let it go? Because she did. That's what's hard to say to you. But then if Jill wasn't clear that she didn't want to realize what the plans the two of you had made, that she didn't want to spend her life with you, I couldn't be here now. I know that. It probably sounds worse to say that I'm glad she did. But I am. Because I do want you. I've loved you in one way or another since we were kids. And I'm very sure about the particular way in which I do love you, because I'm not asking for, for long-range plans. It's just so simple. Frank, you make me happy. And I hope I make you happy. I think we're entitled to that. Yes, we are. What? <laughs> Nothing. You said it all. Hello. It's Jillian. Honey, where are you? Are you all right? I'm under arrest in Maine. And I need some help. Is she asleep already? Record time. She was exhausted. Good. I mean, uh, hard play, hard sleep is good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Have some manners. 
Thank you. You know, there's a basic flaw in the furnishings of this apartment. Yeah? Well, there's no place to get comfortable. You sit at the typewriter, you sit at the table, or you get into bed. Well, what can I tell you? I have a very simple, fundamental approach to life. Yeah, but there's no middle ground. Uh, where you can kick off your shoes and, and put your feet up and kind of uh, think about where you want to go to next. I know where I want to go to next. Me too. It's just that we have to be clear that... that we know what it means. More that we know what it doesn't mean. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not stupid, Rose. I got the message. You're not a candidate for wife and mother. Right. Right. Why isn't this conversation more romantic? <sighs> Don't ask me. You're the one who turns everything into rational analysis. Sorry. Don't let me do that. Io non volevo fare. Mi contento di guardarla. E a pensare le sue occhi sono nere come la notte di sera. Io sono per tutto. Holy smoke. I uh, didn't realize you understood that much Italian. I suoi capelli sono nere come un accello nero. E quando io guardo la sua faccia, io penso il nome rosso. E bene per lei. Rossa mia. A mia mi piace. Le tu pala palore. A me mi piace come tu mi fai sentire. Io te voglio. You're uh, right about the furniture. Yeah. Yeah. I want. Damn table is in the way. I'll meet you halfway. This Friday, the funniest, most romantic movie of the year will arrive. Oh, my God. Sweet Home Alabama is wonderful. You'll absolutely fall in love with Reese Witherspoon. I'm really happy in New York. That's terrible. Sweet Home Alabama. Rated PG-13. If you could use the anti-wrinkle cream that was number one dermatologist recommended, that had the number one wrinkle fighter retinol, and was the number one selling anti-wrinkle cream, would you use it? I would. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. You're watching Ryan's Hope. See what you missed? Yesterday's episode of All My Children is next. Only on SoapNet. Weekdays at 6.30 and 10. Watch General Hospital. I want to make you my wife tonight. Jason, let me warn Jack. You have your orders. Kill him. To trap Brenda, you walk in food and Jax dies, and then you get grabbed by Alcazar. We have to keep searching for Brenda. Kill Jax and bring me Brenda. General Hospital. Ready for more? Catch General Hospital. Weekdays at 6.30 and 10, only on SoapNet. Mike, what can I tell you except I'm grateful. Mrs. Ryan handled herself nicely. She was a good head. Oh, which is neither here nor there. What saved the day was the pistol and the handcuffs, let me tell you. We're going to have to waste a whole day in court, but it'll be worth it to put that young man off the streets for a while, maybe learn his lesson. But what happens to his, his two friends? Well, the description has been given to the police, whatever that's worth. Probably in the home in bed by now. The boys, not the police. <laughs> Here's to you, Nash. Thanks. <laughs> Slatcher. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, how much more Irish do you know, Mr. Pearson? Well, I learned the rosary and the Hail Mary and... The Our Father in Irish. My mother led the rosary in Irish when I was a kid. That's about it. Then she was from Ireland. She was. Both parents. Ah, 
from where? My father from, uh, my mother from Waterford, my father from Dublin. Oh, as was mine. <laughs> That's funny. And yourself? From West Cork. Uh, Skibbery. Excuse me, here's Jim Hurley. I'll be back. Beautiful country. Oh. Not the most dramatic, but... But the most green. And the most like home, outside of New York, that is. So, you're familiar with the southern part of Ireland? I am. And, uh, you? From New York? Philadelphia. Ah, I knew it wasn't Boston. Mm, no. <laughs> and from a large family, I'll bet. Four boys, two girls. Well, that's what makes Rose understand. Brothers and sisters and cousins mm. and uncles and... There's double exposure. Her mother was second-generation Italian from New Jersey. Oh, that's a grand combination. Let me tell you, that's my granddaughter, Ryan Jack's child. Yes, that thought occurred to me. I like Mr. Finelli. Yes? Well, I like Rose. I'm not sure where they're headed. I try to stay out of it. Uh, it's hard to keep one's mouth closed at times, isn't it? It is. Well, they'll work it out. In the meanwhile, let's hope we see a lot more of you, Mr. Pierce. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. <laughs> Hi, right, now, you've had a pretzel. Now, drink of water. Brush your teeth. Now, you want to say goodnight to Rose? Goodnight, Rose. Good night, Ryan. <sighs> okay, come on, sweetheart. Oh. First story and song? Not second time around. Matter of principle. Where were we? Where we cannot be again. I'm sorry, Rose. We must have been out of our minds. No. No, but, uh... Look, uh, call me old-fashioned, call me Puritan, call me unsophisticated, call me anything you please, but uh, I cannot conduct an affair with you with your four-year-old daughter in the other room. I understand. Believe me, I understand. I think I'd better get out of here. Don't, please, do not leave now. No more romance, no more Italian. We will talk. We will discuss the problem. We will argue. We will keep in touch. But I really believe that if you leave now, we're dead. Okay. I'll stay. For a little while. A long while. Stay for breakfast. We can't talk all night. Why not? You can talk forever. I could, but it's very bad. I begin to pick up speed as I go along, and in the end, I'm hysterical. You will not be hysterical. Trust me. Help me. That's uh, <clears throat> not an easy thing for me to say. But I have never been here before, either. I, I mean, falling in love with a beautiful woman, trying like hell to understand her, which ain't easy because she's a little bit crazy. And at the same time, uh, maintaining a home and fatherly support for a little child. It's difficult, Rose. Yes. Go back to the first part. The first part? Falling in love. Well, that's the way it feels to me. I like that. Let's start there. Are your closets and drawers so cluttered you can't find a thing? Is folding all that laundry enough to make you scream? Me too. Hi, I'm Debbie Barker, and that's why I invented Flipfold, the ultimate laundry folder that can fold any item to the perfect uniform size in just five seconds. It's so easy. Just flip, 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 and fold. In less than five seconds, you have a perfect professionally folded shirt. Best of all, it's fun. You can flip fold long sleeve shirts, sweaters, sweatshirts, and even pants to the perfect uniform size with ease. Makes organizing any closet or drawer a breeze. And clothes stay neat and wrinkle free. The secret is Flipfold's patented ventilated holes that eliminate static cling, giving you a crisp, neat, uniform fold in just seconds. Fold an entire basket of laundry faster than ever before. Just flip, flip, and fold. Perfect neat towels every time. Transform an entire closet from this to this. Best of all, kids love it because it's so much fun. It folds any size clothes. At last, children's room can be neat and organized. 
with flip folds, I finally feel organized. I can fold towels, sheets, bed linens, anything, and it folds everything perfect every time. I could never fold my clothes before, but with the flip fold, I can pack more and my clothes are neat and they're wrinkle-free. Beware of cheap imitations that create sloppy folds. Only Flip Fold has anti-slip feet and the ventilated holes. A must for perfect folds. Designed to last and engineered to perform over 50,000 folds, the Flip Fold has been the secret of major department stores for years, originally selling for over $70. But now you can get Flip Fold for only $19.99. But wait, call now and get a second Flip Fold absolutely free. Imagine that's a $140 value all for only $19.99. So if you're ready for a rest, put Flip Fold to the test. Happy folding. Order today. Call now to order the amazing flip fold and through this special TV offer. When you buy one, you'll get a second flip fold free. Oh, this can be yours for only $19.99. This offer won't last. Call 1-800-298-9966. That's 1-800-298-9966. Call now. When soap opera superstars Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway talk shop, it gets personal. Come on, all you soap punks do it. I don't. I don't. Every chance you guys get, bingo, the shirt comes off. Only when the story calls for it. You're not being fair here, Lisa. Right, right, right. I wouldn't force you into that whole soap punk stereotype. Oops. Lisa and Ty bear all on Soap Talk. Today at 11, only on SoapNet. Get caught up in the romances that make you dream. The mysteries that have you guessing. You look me in the eye right now and you tell me that you believe that she's telling the truth. And the heartbreak that keeps you hoping. Do not shut me out. Let me help you. Get caught up in the stories that can take you away from it all. How can I walk away from the best love I've ever known? Damn it, Leo, how can you? SoapNet brings the excitement of Poor Charles, All My Children, One Life to Live, and General Hospital at night, so you can talk about it all day. I want you to stop trying to hurt my brother. This so-called brother is my enemy. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy. What's <laughs> so funny? Well, it's nothing precisely. Huh? Just so... <laughs> Happy. In spite of knowing that I'm angry and that there are two dozen problems lurking outside that door right here and now, I am good. And it's, it's hard not to look at you and smile because you're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I think my vanity is having an eruption these days. <laughs> I want to be beautiful. I like being beautiful. It's okay for the rest of us, too. <laughs> Do you know when the first time I realized how breathtakingly good-looking you are? <laughs> no, but I love this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know when I felt I had it all together when I was with you. When? No, I'm interrupting. You, you tell me. No, you tell me. You first. It was the night of Delia's party for Barry. That black dress <laughs> with the gold beads. <laughs> Well, I'll have to wear it again sometime soon. Now? Huh? No. <laughs> oh, not now. Not now. Was that when? Nope. When? It was about 15 years ago. Oh, come no. on. Oh, I had braces you, and bony nails. You oh, had... <laughs> you had on a blue dress, a skirt, and a very soft blue sweater. And your hair was very long then, and that kind of... Uh, Alice in Wonderland kind of thing he used to do. And it was a Saturday morning. And Patrick and I were cleaning stuff out of your cellar for Ed. It was a dollar fifty an hour. And lunch. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you came down to tell us that lunch was ready. And you sat on the steps. You looked through a box of books that Pat had found. You were very still. Just reading. And the light was in your hair and on the side of your face. And I thought... Faith is beautiful. No, oh, I wish I'd known that then. No, I wish I could have believed it. it. Might have changed in the next ten years of my life. Hmm? Never deny your experiences. Any experience. No. 
Frank. Hmm. One more question. Sure. About Jill. Sure. I feel like if I ask all of them and you answer me, then eventually I'll feel like... She's not with us. Yeah. Go ahead. It's all right. How angry are you? very angry, and it's not just about Ken. It's about the fact that she couldn't change, that she couldn't bring herself to make a commitment, and in the end... that she had to put herself and me through that whole convoluted business with Ken in order to get out of it with me. It would have been much better if she just said, Frank, I can't do it. It's over. It's off. Is that true? Probably not. <laughs> What do we ever really know about ourselves? Yeah. I know this. You make me very happy. I know I'm good for you. You're beautiful. And I love you. Oh, that's a lot. I, uh, I just heard from Jill. Where is she? She was arrested in Maine. They picked her up in a motel where she had registered under your name. She's, she was headed for Canada. Oh, Roger. Yeah, I know, I know. She's waived extradition, and I'm leaving right now to uh, come with her and a detective from New York uh, back here tomorrow morning. Well, wait, why did she use my name? What did she say about Ken and why she left like that? Nothing. Not a word. She's refusing to make a statement of any kind. Mm -hmm. 